Wait, oh. no, okay. Um. <laughs> hey guys! Okay. Sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a really, really long time. I've had to deal with schoolwork, and you're probably just thinking this is another excuse, but I've come up with an idea from looking at YouTube videos about how people do reviews of Korean dramas or Korean music videos. So I wanted to do something similar, and I want to know if you guys like it or not. So I'm going to do it on something I just recently watched called The Nice Guy, also known as The Innocent Man. And I don't know the Korean translation, so you're going to have to find that out for yourself. But um, I thought, why do an intro? Why do a review by myself? Because it's going to be awkward if I just do it by myself and I'm just going to rant. So I need someone to moderate me, and the person who is going to moderate me is my cousin, Nock. Nock? Hi, Nock. Hi! Okay. So, what is The Innocent Man? Oh, you start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so The Innocent Man is a Korean drama starred by Song Joong Ki, that's how you pronounce his name. And it's about um, Kang Ha Ru, a guy who is studying to be a doctor. And he is dating his longtime childhood friend and Nuna, Han Jae-hee, who is ready to be a reporter. Basically, Jae-hee kills off a guy, and Kang Maru, being that he loves her, takes the fall and goes to jail for her. Meanwhile, while he's in jail, she decides that she's going to marry a rich guy, which is the um, CEO of Tisan, a big corporate group. And then we have Seungi, which is the daughter of the CEO, and so step up Han Jae-hee. When Kang Maru gets out of jail, he finds out that Jae-hee has remarried and gets very angry, so he decides he's going to seduce Seungi, her stepdaughter, in order to get back at her. Wait. That's where our conflict lies. Yeah. And for Kang Maru, that was sort of a bitch move because, like, you messed with a girl, and then, like, they all were with bull bitches. Like, all three of the main people. Like, Lord. Okay, so, we're gonna go over our three main characters. Um, Kang Maru, our main lead, is supposedly the nice guy. He starts out by taking the fall and then progressively doesn't seem very nice. Okay, so overall, I think that he's stupid for taking the fall and then for dragging somebody innocent into his mess with Jaehee. And then even when he has realized that he's been doing wrong, he still tries to help Han Jaehee cover it up, and then Seungi gets dragged around by him. So really, there's no protagonist in the story, and everyone's like at fault at some point. So if you're watching this, expecting it to be like a romantic comedy where there's one innocent person and one really bad person, and there's a happy ending, you're not going to get that. Not at all, because the ending will make you mad. It made me mad. It made me so mad. But my first impression was pretty much the same as hers. I thought Kamaru was a freaking dumbass. Dude, like, who takes the fall for her and spends five years? Like, it was clearly self-defense, but you'll understand why it's self-defense. But um, if you look at Kanji he throughout the episode, though, like, you'll notice that she wears these huge trench coats as if she's having something to hide. And we both think that she might be pregnant while she was filming it, but like, we'll let you guys decide. But um, let's talk about the good things we actually saw within the drama. So some of the good things were that he actually has a heart. Like, he cares for them, but like, eventually it just gets worse and he just goes downhill. Fast. He is a nice guy, and you can see that from the beginning when he's very sweet to Jaehee. And then later on when he is nice to Ungi, mm -hmm. but he's just... He likes to put himself out there to sacrifice for other people, and that's not functional. That's <laughs> functional at all. Okay. Oh my god. Um, something good this drama did that I didn't expect was the... Um, I hate this plot device usually, and whenever I hear this plot device, I want to kill myself. And that is the amnesia of all K-dramas, in which the person magically forgets only one thing, and then recovers it all in like five seconds. Just one. Yeah, just, just one. that one thing, but 
Um, something the writer did that made sense was that Seung-gi actually has brain damage and didn't just forget Kangmaru for the sake of the plot. She forgot everyone and how to write. So it kind of put her back to about the age of five, which actually works really well for the fact that he needs that to get his ass moving. Yeah. Like, it's not selective amnesia. She forgets everything and everyone along with it. So, like, that was some of the good stuff I thought about it because the storyline was great, but you'll be... Like, this is a melodramatic drama, so you'll be mad. But, like, some of the bad parts in it, I think, was... Um... I... The... Oh, I forgot his name. Lawyer or Attorney Park? Attorney Park. The, the psychopath. Yes. Uh, he starts out as the right-hand man of Soongi's father, the CEO, but then becomes... What do they call him? A minion to Han Jae-hee yeah. because he loves her. But what kind of man doesn't even get laid for years <laughs> and still does her bidding? <laughs> and even offers himself to take a murder and stab somebody else for her. He didn't just offer to take a murder for her, he was going to kill someone for her. Yeah, bro. That's you, not love. That's crazy. <laughs> like, you are nuts. Nuts. But, like, he's just something else, because he does nothing good. Absolutely. Like, if he... Yeah, he's definitely one of the worst out of all of them. Like, if you watch it... Like, you'll agree on me on certain parts, but he is extremely bad. But, like, when you watch a drama, it's sort of like a relationship, if you think about it. Because you do get dedicated to dramas you like, especially well-written ones. So, for this one, I felt like the girl was really nice for me, and, like... We met each other's needs, and she was like, oh, I'm going to provide for you, and you're going to provide for me. But in the end, like, when there's supposed to be a mutual breakup at, like, 16 to 24 episodes, there wasn't. We just broke, and I was like, <laughs> I wanted more from you. I felt incomplete, like, you just left me there. And I had, like, severe withdrawal for, like, a couple of days, but I still liked it, which is weird. I think it was weird. But my final rating for it, 8.5, because the ending was not as much as I wanted it to be, but it was well written. And for... Um, I'm going to say 9, because I'm more generous, and I've seen a lot of melodramas, and this one wasn't too much mellow, but and it was believable. The characters were believable, not over the top, and they didn't use too much convenient plot devices. I'm going to say a 9 because everything was overall well done and I never expected the ending to be perfect tied in a bow happiness because of the mellow so I think the ending worked out well. So to wrap it up, if you liked the video, remember to comment, like, thumbs up, and if you can, subscribe. I'm not trying to force you to do it. <laughs> so if you do want more of these videos, tell me. But I am trying to upload more videos, so if you be a little, just a little, just a little, a little bit more patient, I'll start uploading videos for you. So, bye. How do I turn this thing off?